Crystal 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 Dolphin Meeting Room. Bible address every Sunday. Latest information. Evolution is a lie. Oh, I'm just gonna stick this little note on the side here. <clears throat> if you have evidence to disprove evolution, then write it down. Get it be reviewed and collect your prize. If you scroll your heartless. What? To not try and save these people from what looks like to be a nightmare of a plane to be stuck on? How the hell do you get off? The plane, I mean. Like there's no aisles. There's literally just seats in the way that. <laughs> <laughs> what was the prompt for this AI image? Just came across this one in the wild. Jesus, eternity in hell. Me. Wow, and you don't even acknowledge it. That's, um, like, I get you made a meme to represent it, but do you see how much of a just an ignorant a-hole you look like to Jesus? Side note, though, I'm not sure how comfortable I am seeing a tight, muscular man wearing an extremely tight spandex suit following kids around. For their safety, allegedly. Evidence, please. Atheists, when their wife says, I love you, but there is no peer-reviewed scientific studies verifying it. <laughs> That's actually great. I love that one. That's really good. <laughs> you can't just say that you have, to, you have to have evidence to support it. <laughs> this is what happens when the fruitcakes take over the government. Afghan schoolgirls are finishing sixth grade in tears. Under Taliban rule, their education is over. This was a religious school which remained open since the last year's Taliban takeover in Kabul, Afghanistan on August, 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 August 11th, 2022. Now, I don't believe that religion should be balked and shamed upon just for existing, but when it's enforced like this, absolutely. We could say the same about theism. If atheism is true, then the claim that God exists is necessarily false. But the claim God exists is not necessarily false. Therefore, atheism is not true. Twitter will always stand as the very thing that turns society's capability of deep, philosophical, logical discussion into being just dumbed down, heavily diluted, stupid, simplified rhetoric. I mean, come on. This thing is wrong because wordplay. <laughs> atheist argument wheel. 40 atheist arguments debunked. Slavery, contradictions, science, suffering. We've got all atheist arguments answered in 10 minutes. Not gonna lie, I would be curious to watch this because sometimes they actually have good arguments about just, you know, basic morality. But then again, most of it is like, well, you, you should be able to practice good morality without the threat of a God punishing you for being bad. It's like, my man, are you actually a feminist or are you just hoping a woman's more likely to boink you? And then Jesus break danced. I was just sitting on the beach this morning reading the Beatitudes when these seagulls scratched this out in front of me. And look, even this dove came to say hello. Despite they're all just being seagulls and crows? <laughs> is that cr Why is there a crow on the beach? Anyway, look what they perfectly wrote out. Oh, look, there's, even though there's no actual footprints of them accurately walking towards these letters to write them. Nope. Indoctrination mandatory! Church is not optional for your children. You make them go to school to be successful. Make them go to church so they may live. Ooh, there's some really ominous threats there with that may live. I get they're just trying to imply like fulfilling life, not just, you know, being allowed to exist, but woo wee history of religion would make you think otherwise. How in the H-E double hockey sticks did she manage to incorporate God into this? Paid off my car and my credit score dropped 35 points. <laughs> I love this very real system we based our entire lives on. Pretty much. God's way is the best way. The world's way is designed for you to fail. Ma'am, God did not invent capitalism. That <laughs> Could you imagine how the Garden of Eden would have worked if they had a capitalist system in it? Just banishing them from the garden because they didn't pay for the apple. <laughs> God is going to start killing FBI agents who arrested January 6th rioters. Christian Pastor. God is going to start killing FBI agents who arrested January 6th rioters. Hey, you go ahead and preach these things. It just further creates content for us to enjoy when, once again, it does not at all happen. I mean, how many end-of-world threats have these sort of people made in the last decade? Like, five? I'm sure it's something like that. What is this format? How is it? <laughs> Every time we have some sort of new slight advancement in creative technology, there's just a group of people that have to absolutely confuse everyone else with the way of utilizing it. Yeah, oh, I know. That's going to sway some people to stop believing in God. Okay, so babies can climb into fridges now. Good to know. 
atheists, imagine a Christian baby breaks into your house and stands inside your refrigerator and refuses to leave until you renounce atheism and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> what would you do? I'd honestly be extremely concerned and freaked out how a baby got into my place and is speaking to me in coherent English to practice their religion. I would genuinely believe that is some sort of devil child. Granny may have dropped most contact with me when I came out, but she never forgets the underhanded birthday Jesus reminder. Happy birthday. Have a great day celebrating. Praying for you daily. Praying that you will find the true joy and peace only found in Jesus. I love you so much, Grandma. No thanks, Grandma. I'd like to live. You can see germs in a microscope, though. Now, can you see God? Atheists, I don't believe in things I don't see. Also, atheists, believes in dark matter, alternate universes, evolution, big bang, viruses, germs, etc. Maybe our souls are made of dark matter, or phantom matter, which is 1,000 times denser than dark matter. Who knows? So, like, I know there's many religious people out there who actually understand the difference between scientific theories, like the term and what that means. The Big Bang is a theory. Granted, there's a lot of research and evidence constantly going in to prove it, but that's the great thing about science. Everything's still up in the air. We just are constantly trying to prove ourselves wrong, unlike this religion. Like, there's no shame in realizing you didn't have all the answers the entire time. You can still believe and follow God in your image of him without fully following the religious nutcrackers out there who are trying to enforce their man-made ideologies of what God is. God is love. Also, frick Joe Biden! Oh, that's a sweet, wholesome license plate. Oh, look, they love Brandon too. Oh, I love all this encouragement for Brandon. I wish I lacked this much self-awareness. I'm so full of the Holy Ghost that I feel like I'm gonna explode. More, Lord, more! <laughs> what? <laughs> Trump and Jared at the Civil War. Oh my God. Oh, the AI imagery. Oh, it's... Beautiful. Blessed we are to have this technology accessible to everyone on the planet. Ah, oh, it's just... Ah, oh, it's lovely. With President Trump and Christ Jesus leading the battlefield, we patriots feel very confident in the new civil war. Wow, you are right. That is totally Jared Leto. <laughs> he is coming. I am coming soon. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming. It's hard. I'm trying so hard to... Like, sorry, it's not It's not that it's hard. Like, as in the speaking it is hard. That's what is hard, is trying to make it not sound sound gross is what I'm shut up my religion is true not yours point of view Muslims and Jews on the day of judgment oh man oh we got it wrong oh poo oh, oh this sucks this is, this is like when my favorite sports team loses no oh. Low-key thinking about converting to Islam, but I'm also a lesbian. Well, you could always do what many uh, Christians do. Just twist some of the religion and the text to suit your own fancy and get a large enough group going as quick as possible so you're no longer listed as a cult. Huh? Memory work. What is math? Math is understanding that numbers must obey God. What? what? How do numbers obey God? God never changes, and so math obeys God by never changing either. Let me explain how that both makes no sense and how you can apply that sort of stupid logic to anything that would actually be detrimental to it. God never washes his butthole, and so men obey God by never washing their butthole either. Worst metaphor ever. Hero, woman, weapon, villain. Here we got Popeye's hero, woman, weapon, villain. Pac-Man's hero, woman, weapon, villain. Mario's hero, woman, weapon, villain. And Christianity's hero, woman, weapon, villain. That's right, Adam is a woman! Take that, Christians! That America will surely be problematic. A dystopian, dull theocracy. This is what America will look like by 2040. God willing. I'm going to imagine you, like, took the tower onto the land or something and not just left it on the island because I, that is a large ass boat wharf you guys got that entire church set up on. Though based on this AI image it looks like half of New York is already flooded anyway which look it's accurate for 2040. So uh, he's okay with having slaves. I don't care if it's not politically correct. I want to see biblically correct. Ah biblically correct. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's recently had a certain biblical breakdown video that's been shared around on some people's 
people's feeds. Cheers to you, 2D Animated Satan, for educating us all about that. To my trans-affirming Christians, you're essentially telling God that he made someone incorrectly. Repent! Well, there's your problem. You're implying it was incorrect and not just what they are. I was born with bent pinkies. Doesn't mean I was incorrectly made. It just means I'm someone with bent pinkies. After all, God never makes faults, does he not? Is he never wrong with his creations, his intentions? Seems like the only ones denying who they are meant to be are the people who are denying them their right to be who they're meant to be. Satan is an ally. I was looking through medieval drawings of demons the other day, and I found the demons that make you gay. Oh, we know. Again, you think this is in your favor, but it's really not. It's just strengthening people to go towards Satanism. Imagine being this blind. Beep beep, is this your opinion? Well, chugga chugga, here comes the scripture! Okay, sure. Hope you're not wearing different fabrics. Now this is on another level of stupidity. So only some people can identify. I self-identify as a woman. So great. Awesome. You're stunning. I self-identify as an African-American. You're an inspiration. Beautiful. Yes. I self-identify as a cat. Good for meow. Surprise. Hero. I self-identify as a Christian. Weirdo. Boom. Still living in a fairy tale. I love this because they've just put themselves on the same platform, ignoring the melodramatics they're clearly trying to do here. Like, you can't complain that you don't get to self-identify as whatever, but then also hate people who self-identify as whatever. Last I checked, the first three aren't arguing for you to no longer be allowed to exist, they're just arguing that you shouldn't be allowed to keep shoving your thoughts down their throats. Atheists face to face with God after talking bad about Sky Daddy. I'm just gonna say, if uh, it's been going on this long and nothing smiteful has happened to us yet, he's clearly taken this as the same experience as a celebrity getting roasted, just really laughing along with it all and ready to roast us back the moment we get to heaven. He sees all, after all. I'm sure he is just excited every moment an atheist comes to heaven, like, Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'm letting you through, but <laughs> you're gonna sit there for a bit. Okay, folks, here we have Jack. <laughs> Our slavery is better than yours. What the West calls slavery in the Islamic world isn't really even slavery. It's more like a paternalistic relationship between two distinct social classes. It's kind, humane, agency respecting, and slaves have even created proper royal dynasties in many Islamic realms. I don't know what this is in reply to exactly, but the leftists when there's like four neo Nazis in an Eastern European country. The SS battalion known as Ukraine belongs to Russia. But then leftists when the terror militia allows slavery. A, a what? God, Twitter has the most interesting takes. And apparently that's got to do with someone trying to defend Islam as being okay with slaves because they're, they're not slaves, it's interns, okay? It's fine. Atheists don't reproduce. Atheists don't reproduce. It's an ideology that cannot survive. That's really interesting, my man, because I'm sure if we look at the census, at least in Australia, over the last decade, I'm sure you'll see a gradual rise in the lack of religion. Which, hey, if we're going to follow your logic, man, it kind of just shows that uh, religious people suck at encouraging their children to keep following their religion. Those who killed Christ want you to massively debate. Christ forbids debating. Do the right thing. Really? That's... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what they decreed when they like, uh, sealed his tomb and hung him up on the giant... <laughs> Oh my god, imagine like a public execution of someone up on some giant cross and then the soldiers all just stare at the crowd and say, All right! Touch yourselves! Yeah! Oh, Do it! All of you! Uh -huh. Not the kids though, that's weird. Do it and enjoy it! Pull the pants down! Wokeness is a religion. There seems to be an innate need for religion. Many atheists simply adopt another belief system, example, wokeness, that is essentially a religion. You know, by that logic, like, women's rights is a religion. Do, do you see how stupid that sounds? I follow the religion of nut sauce because I believe in enjoying my Nutella and tomato sauce sandwiches. Oh, quick, Christians, crucify me for believing in something that's got nothing to do with your religion nor clashing with it. No, 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 and no. Women, you don't need college. You need faith, a Bible, and a good cookbook. Here's a crazy idea. How about the choice to choose either of those options? You know, that basic thing that humans are allowed to do in a society. It's not just the sound a train makes, after all. 